Hello, this is Deborah Baker with Trusted CISO, and today I'm talking about how to prepare for the free ISE Squared certification in seven minutes. So right now there is a huge workforce gap in cybersecurity. There's 3.4 million unfulfilled jobs, and this is according to ISC Squared's cybersecurity workforce studies that have been done from 2019 through 2022. Now, what you need to do is sign up for the Certified in Cybersecurity program, and there's three choices. There's self-paced plus exam, which is $0. It's actually, they want you to pay $50 up front, but after that, $0. And then at the end of the year, you will have to pay um, $50. And there is um, two other options where you can get the self-paced online learning Plus, you can take the exam twice, and that's for $199. And then they also have live online training, plus being able to take the exam twice for $649. So these are all of your options. Now, you really need to think about what kind of learner you are. And if you can look in the description, I actually have a link that to a free test you can take, and then you can find out the kind of learner you are. I personally am visual. For me, it was better to just read the book and review the practice questions. So, and I, I did that for the CISSP, and I passed on the first time. For the CCSP, I actually went to a boot camp, and I still, the first time I didn't pass, I had to go back read the book, do the practice questions, and then I pass with no problem. So it just depends on the type of learner you are. So for me, doing the zero dollar one would be better. So I highly recommend checking out your local ISSA chapter, and you can go to that www.issa.org. They offer study groups, like in-person study groups. And for example, the one in Raleigh-Durham area in North Carolina has a 95% pass rate for the CISSP. So I highly recommend that. And on the ISC Squared website, they have online discussion study groups that you can join, and I've got the link there. So this is what I recommend. Create a study schedule within a three-month period because there's going to be a lot of information you're going to be learning, and you don't want to draw it out over too long of a time period. There are six domains, so you can cover one domain per week, and then um, you probably need to study like one to two hours a day, you know, to read through the chapters, learn the information, and also watch the online videos. So what I did is I completed the chapter practice questions, and I made sure that I passed at least 70% or greater before I went to the next chapter. And I would review any missed questions and reread the chapter material where I missed the question because you really, it's, there is going to be some items that you're just going to have to memorize, but for most of the material, you want to understand it because the way they're going to ask you the questions is there, they want to know if you understand the material. So in the last two weeks, I retook all the practice exams and I just made sure that I passed at least 70%. And if I had to go back and, you know, reread, that was fine too. Day of the test. For the CISSP, I had a good friend of mine who took it before me and they said, take a bag lunch with water. And that was amazing. That really helped me take a break, be able to regroup. So, Check with your um, testing center if they allow that. 
With the CCSP, I didn't need to do that. So it just, you know, if you feel like you're going to take most of the time, I didn't think I would for the CISSP, but I really took my time with reading the questions. Don't rush. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to rush through it and they're not going to pass. So take your time and be calm. You've done the work to, you know, to prepare and you're going to do awesome. So where to start? Go out on the ISC Squared's website and I have the link down in the description and get started because there's only, they opened up 500,000 right now and you want to make sure you're one of them if you want to be join, you know, be part of cybersecurity. Thank you so much for watching. This is Deborah Baker with Trusted CISO and hit subscribe for more cybersecurity tips.